Hello. Hello. And welcome to... Behind the Sofa. <laughs> our new video uh, thing. It, it, it's very good, isn't it? Well, hopefully. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> so far, what, what we've seen of it is meant... It, in our eyes, it's good. It's top-notch. So what, what are we going to be doing on this edition of Behind the Sofa? So um, what we will be doing as our main article is we will be... Uh, what uh, we'll be reviewing the Sontaran experiment. Excellent. We might have a little snip bit of humorous stuff. Yeah, from the Tom Baker figure home. Yeah. Today it opens. And uh, what else? Anything else finally? Um, and we'll have a bit of a review of the Invasion of the Dinosaurs and Android Invasion uh, DVDs in the Unit Files box set. Fantastic. Yes. But first off, Let's talk about um, Sontaran experiments, oh, shall yes. we? Oh, yes. Okay. I've got, this, I've got some notes here. Okay. Let's see. So, so, what do we want to talk about with it? So, we're going to review the story. Um, should we... What was it? The Sontaran experiment? Yes. Do you want to give a little bit of a, a, a synopsis to start with? Yes, yeah, should we give a mini synopsis? A mini synopsis, yeah. Okay, so the mini synopsis is the Doctor, Sarah and Harry arrive on Earth, which is now a desolate wilderness. They discover a group of stranded Galsec colonists lured there by a fake distress call. Okay, so what we're going to do when we do these reviews is we're going to ask a set of standard questions... Yes. Which we'll then talk a bit about. We'll, we'll go into detail with these questions and with the review overall. Okay. So first, first off, we think around um, the story roundup. Um, which series was uh, was this from? So um, it was from the twelfth series, which featured um, Robot, Ark in Space, obviously this one, uh, Genesis of the Daleks, which we will review in the future behind the sofa episode and also um revenge of the cybermen what what one's the best one in that series to you I you haven't seen ark in space not yet um no. genesis i would say yeah but yeah yeah i think genesis ark in space is a close second i like ark in space which doctor is this a fourth doctor one and um tom baker Oh, Tom ba Tom Baker is a great doctor, isn't he? He is, yeah. He's got some great stories, great companions, apart from Adric. Some great... No no offence, Adric. Some great things about yep. him. Um, in this particular story, who's the companion? Well, we have two companions, don't we, in this one? Mm -hmm. We have um, Sarah who we'd say is the main yep. companion. And uh, we've got Harry, who um, joined them in Robot. Okay. And you've seen Robot, haven't you, quite recently, but not on the randomizer? Not on the randomizer. We saw it last year before we thought of the randomizer, but this is our first randomizer. We probably should explain to people that have never listened to the podcast that we do what the yeah. randomizer is. Yeah. Um, shall I do that or do you want to do it? I'll do that. Um, the randomizer is like a Excel sped, spreadsheet, even, um, with uh, lots of... And all of the episodes, all 253 of them, and we click the button and it chooses one automatically to watch. And the Sontaran experiment was the first one we ever chose. Yeah. And, uh, well, we didn't choose. Well, it we... It, we it's ever watched. We, <laughs> we ever watched. watched. Yeah. Not ever, ever, but I mean ever on the random. It was the last November, I think, after Series 8. So, format. So, the format of this story is... Um, it's quite strange because it's only a two-parter. Okay. Yeah, it's quite rare, isn't it? Particularly mm. in the old days when the episodes were only 20, 25 minutes long. Yeah, you, you only got, like... You only got a few of them. Of course, mm -hmm. there was a really early one, which was Edge of Destruction or Inside the Spaceship or whatever you want to call mm. that story. There are many names for the early stories. Okay. So, um, 
Let's head on to our bests. Yes, our bests, our so, best bits. So if we were to, I mean, because what we don't want to do is we don't want to give away too much of the story because we don't want to discourage you from watching it if you haven't. So. It's on iTunes, by the way, to buy. That, that's the availability. Yeah, um, so, so we don't want to give anything too much away yes. with it. So that's why in the synopsis of the story we've not said too much. But the best bits will pick up on a few little segments. So, so d- if you haven't watched this story, we may spoil a little bit, but we'll try not to spoil much. We'll try not to. We won't it, say what the ending is. This, this story isn't too much of a spoiler no. type story. So... It's the new Who ones that you need to worry about. So of the bests, the first question I'd like to ask you is, best baddie? Oh, well, there's really only one baddie in this one, which are the Sontarans. Yeah. Can you remember the name of the Sontaran? Uh, Steyer. Okay. Oh. I looked it up earlier. <laughs> so... So in terms of the Sontarans, quite over the years have become quite a renowned baddie for the Doctor. This is... Um, how many appearances have they made? This is the second uh, this appearance. This is their second one. And so, you'll find a bit more about the Sontarans in Behind the Sofa late, in the um, Tom Baker figure home later. Yeah. So um, this is... Yeah, so the second appearance. Um, well, we sort of know why they're the best baddie. Because yeah. they're also the only baddies in this, <laughs> in, this, in this particular one, aren't they? Yeah. What is it that makes them really good in this in this episode, do you think? I don't know. They're just battle crazy, trigger happy. Um, they're great, really. And they've sort of spoilt them in New Who, but we'll go on to that if we ever have a Strax story. Okay. But we haven't so far. I, um, I like the fact that, on this one, that the whole basis of... Is that the Sontarans are experimenting on humans trying to find yeah. their weaknesses, um, which is a, a, such a typically Sontaran thing, yeah. thing to do. The funny sort of side of it is um, they're quite clumsy in this one, aren't they? You know, yeah, they are. <laughs> you know, I, I think probably uh, your gran could fight Sontarans in here, yeah. and you'd probably stand a fair good chance of getting And you know their there. weakness. Uh, I mm. know every Who fan would know their weakness, the Provic. The pro bit vent on the back yeah. of their yeah. um, neck. Um, there's something else about here, as well as the why. What's the other thing? A bit about them. A bit about them. Well, we sort of said done that. Yeah, we, we sort of we done, sort that. done that. Um, best supporting cast. Okay. Okay. We'll go on to best bit at the end. Uh-huh. Um, best supportive cast. <sighs> Kevin Lindsay. Who's that? The Santaran Steyer. You think so? Yeah. Steyer, yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't know the names of the actors, all the names of the characters. <laughs> but um, I, I quite like, actually, the humans that are on yeah. this one. Yeah. You know, that little group of them. And they're sort of battling amongst themselves a little bit, aren't they? Yeah, I, I like them as well. But yeah. I, I, I just need to say that Kevin Lindsay, also overall, it's a good... Um, actor because he was actually he actually played Lynx who was the first Sontaran in the Time Warrior He's the same one is it yeah I didn't realize that yeah he was he was the same one okay um best part in this one obviously only two parts yeah it'll be quite an easy one when we do some of the new who ones <laughs> <laughs> when there's only one um, but uh, so this is a two-parter I'd say episode two yeah I, I think probably so but it's not all yeah. often, and we'll find that out this out as we go through other editions of this show. But often, the last part isn't my favourite. Neither, definitely with the Sarah Janes. Mm-hmm. We we haven't watched any of them on the randomizer, but I watched them over December, uh, around Christmas time, and uh, again, and they definitely they de- the first part seems to always be better than the second. Yeah. Okay. Um, but this time round, for this particular one, you think the second part's the most exciting? Yes. Yeah. For this one. Okay. Best bit. Oh, now I've got to knock my uh, memory back to... Um, just November. Yeah. 
what was your favourite bit? I can't really say because it's the end. Yeah, me too. <laughs> it's so good, isn't it? Yeah, I um, really like the end. It's something to do with the Sontaran, but we can't tell you. No. Because it would spoil something. But also, what it does do is lead quite nicely into the next story, which we're not going to do next week, but we'll be doing in a few weeks. Yeah. In a few weeks' time. Genesis. So I overall then, overall... Would you recommend this one to people? Yes, I would. Yeah. Um. Now, uh, we'll, we'll say um, Dawn mm-hmm. have ranked uh, in the Dawn Readers Poll in 2014. They ranked it as 140th. So, as it's the only one so far, we place it at the top of our leaderboard. And you mm-hmm. can see the leaderboard on uh, Miss Lewis Moon uh, Adventures dot com. And perhaps what we do actually, as we move on with this, we'll post the leaderboard actually as part of these episodes, yeah. so you get a, a, a long running battle yeah. there of who's actually top of the league. And I'm sure this one won't be the highest or the lowest by the end of this. Probably not. So 140 on the dawn one. That's 140 out of. 241 so okay. it's 101 places to the bottom uh-huh. so it's in the bottom half yes will it be in the bottom half of our table time will tell yes would we would we agree with that would we agree with that placing i think the tom baker factor just immediately pushes it up into <laughs> my top half yeah um you haven't seen every episode neither have i no. because of Marco Polo and Massacre of St. Bartholomew's yeah. Eve and all and of the missing stories. Also, I mean, as will become plainly obvious through these videos, um, you've watched them more, more recently than me because a lot of them, um, in terms of the whole sort of episodes, a lot of them I would have watched when I was little and I'm sort of um, re-exploring them. Yeah. Together. Aren't we? Together we're re-exploring them. <laughs> Yay. So, uh, um that's probably enough for this particular segment, yes. isn't it? Yes. Um, now, uh, is that the end of that segment? It's the end of that segment. So what's... Introduce the segment. What, the next bit? Yeah. Well, uh, it's Tom Baker Figure Home, isn't it? Tom Baker Figure Home. But um, this time, uh, the Doctor opens the figure home to find that the Sontarans are there. Ah, oh, another three adventures done. Action and adventure, with robots and regeneration, worms and... Sontarans. Wonder why, for some reason, two superfans have chosen this story instead of the first ones. Sontar, ha! Good to make it into the figure home. Welcome to the figure home. I only just came here. It is not fair, you get three randomizer stories. You cheat, you have triple of that amount. Anyway, I thought I would give you some sort of interview, perhaps. An interview with the Sontaran. Do you want to join, Sarah? No, thanks. This is like a question time. With all your fans, Androgums and no one else. Anyway, first question. What is your favourite battle with me? Well, you have only had two so far, but my first one, oh, I loved it, fighting puny humans in the Middle Ages. Oh, and it was a Robert Holmes story. Always the best. Apart from the space pirates, of course. But anyway, what was your best battle with the Rutans? The current battle, the war, the main battle, the only battle. Well, um, Sarah, do you have any questions? No, thanks. See, puny humans are always lost for questions. That is the thing that is always puny about the humans. Beasts of stupidity. Says you. To me, you look like a big, big potato. Wouldn't it be better if some tyrants had a jelly baby head? <coughs> no, I think that would just look a bit odd. Talking of jelly babies, Sarah Jane, would you like a jelly baby? There is every type. A red, an orange, my favourite they are. No thanks. 
gods. This is meant to be about me, as the episode we are focusing on this time is called the Sontaran Experiment. Just because of the name and the title doesn't mean it is going to be about the Sontarans. I think we should leave. But this is the Tom Baker figure home. I need to be here. As you said earlier, if something has the title of your name, then it does not mean it is about you. Let's all get out. The Tom Baker figure home is closed. No, it needs to be open. Next week we have another Tom Baker one. But we can take a break and prepare for next week. Bye. Welcome back. Um, did you enjoy that Tom Baker figure home? We hope you did. And it will be back for some more uh, next week. Some more figure home. Um, now we have a review of um, some merchandise. Um, we have a review of this box set here, the Unit Files. Um, it contains Invasion of the Dinosaurs and the inv Android Invasion. Um, so the synopsis on the front says, The Third Doctor faces ravenous prehistoric monsters in deserted London, while the Fourth Doctor battles robot duplicates in a strange village. But are the forces of Unit friends or foes? Find out in these classic adventures. Um, so it's three discs. Uh, let's see. The first is quite hard to get out. There. It's a negative part of the review. <laughs> yes, that's the negative part. That it's quite hard to get out. <laughs> um, but it was quite easy to open, actually. It's quite easy to open. Um... Now, the one I'm watching at the moment is the third Doctor story, Invasion of the Dinosaurs. Uh, two discs, let's see, by Malcolm Hulk, who, write, uh, who wrote Colony in Space, which we watched earlier, which we'll review that in a few weeks. Oh. There's, um, there's a colour... Uh, version and what's quite good about this DVD is you can actually choose whether you want part one in black and white or colour but um, the colour version is quite faded um, so it's not very good in colour um, and the cover is very good uh, the dinosaurs look good on the cover and they look better than I expected in the episode and the Doctor's carrying this gun-like um, weapon. So, uh, that's a very good one. Um, we've also got this one. The Android Invasion. Now, this is a Tom Baker story uh, from 1975, even. Um, so, it... It has got the crawls on the front and these android people. And there's a, a, there's a good synopsis on the back because it, it just makes it sound mysterious. And, it, and actually the story is quite surreal. And I have watched this one before. It's just I always really wanted to watch this one here. Uh, so I brought the box set and... Yesterday in HMV, it was the only Doctor Who DVD that I didn't have. So that's strange. Do you cool? What what one looks better? Um, I quite like the idea of the Android invasion. Yes. Because it's Tom Baker, my Doctor. Um, <laughs> but also I like these. What these creatures called? Uh, the Crows. So, yeah, I like the look of them. Yeah. I don't remember this one. I probably did watch it when I was a youngie. Probably, I prefer the look of this one probably because it's the one I haven't watched The dinosaurs, yet. invasion yes. of dinosaurs. Um, but I have started watching it now and part one has now been watched by me and part two should be watched on Monday. And comment if you, uh, if you think you know which one looks better. Okay, well that probably brings us pretty much to the end of the show. Yes. 
Um, we'd like to hear your comments. So if there's things that you'd like included on this programme, let us know. Yes. Give us your comments as well of your thoughts on either the review that's been done with the, your own thoughts on the unit files, for instance, or also if you've got your own thoughts on the Sontaran experiment, we'd love to hear those yes, as well. Yes, we'd love to hear it. And we may even mention you next week. We may. Yes. Um, next week's show, what are we putting on it? What film? Hopefully it'll be next week. Yeah, next week Hopefully. or the week after. Depends um, where we get time. Yes, because uh, next week's quite busy. Mm -hmm. But um, we will be reviewing The Leisure Hive. Uh, so we'll have a review of that. We'll have some... Um, we'll have another merchandise review. I'll think about that during the mm -hmm. week. And we'll have another Tom Baker figure home. Okay. So, yes. So it's time for us to get off the sofa and into the spaceship. <laughs> Thank you for watching, guys. And we will join you here next week. And we hope you have enjoyed it. Goodbye. Goodbye. Off to the spaceship. <laughs>